trust. You're watching KRQE News 13 at 4. Good afternoon. The Sunport is halfway through a major multi-million dollar rehab of the terminal. Now the city is touting extra work they've been able to get done with federal money while bringing in a special guest to talk about it. News 13's Jessica Salinas explains where that money will be going. Great to be back here in sunny Albuquerque. Bringing the second gentleman, Dog M. Hoff, back to Albuquerque Friday. The city is highlighting now three years of federal grant awards, all being used to help fix up the Sunport. When we invest in our infrastructure, it impacts the entire community. The Sunport is in the midst of an $87 million renovation, mostly focused on revamping the food and vendor area throughout the building. As our New Mexicans know, uh, our airport is in the midst of a generational renovation, a transformation for the next 40 years that all our visitors and residents will likely use and know about. And roughly $20 million of the overall terminal improvements is being funded by the feds. The latest chunk of federal funding is going towards designing a new behind the scenes baggage system. Meanwhile, about 14 million in federal funds is helping the city revamp all of its over 30 year old jet bridges carrying passengers to and from planes. And they were so sturdily built that we're actually keeping the bones. And so the renovation is just to redo the interiors, fresh coat of paint on the outside, redo all the mechanical components. The city's now starting to work on its fifth of 22 jet bridges. Without federal funding, the city says the project would be harder to complete. And there's so much that it takes to invest in an airport and keep it functioning. And this federal funding frees up those resources so we can tackle those projects sooner. Jessica Salinas, KRQE News 13. The Sunport expects to finish most of the work on the terminal by the end of the year. Next, it's looking at improvements for the parking garage and the rental car building.